January 2017, Mechanics 1, question number 5, International A-Level. Um, a question about two particles, P and Q, with masses 4M and KM respectively. They are moving towards each other in opposite directions along the same straight line on a smooth horizontal table. When they collide directly, immediately before the collision, the speed of P is 3U and the speed of Q is U. Immediately after the collision, both particles have speed 2U and the direction of motion of Q has been reversed. Find in terms of KM and U the magnitude of the impulse received by Q in the collision. Okay, so let's make a little sketch. We have here P. We can draw it anyway, but I've drawn it here. P and Q. So this is P and this is Q. Okay, P has a mass of 4M and Q has a mass, mass of KM. Okay, P is moving towards Q, and Q is moving towards P. P has got a speed of 3U, and Q has got a speed of U. This is before the collision. This is before they collide. So this is before. All right, after the collision, okay, uh, we know... Um, both particles have a speed of 2u and the direction of motion of q has been so q is reverse this direction and has a speed of 2u p well we don't know what's happened to it okay it's either gone this way or it's gone that way but its speed is 2u didn't tell us okay so part a it says find in terms of km and u the magnitude of the impulse received by q so of course now if q has either slowed down or changed its direction when the P hits it, the impulse acts in this direction, causing it to change its direction or slow down or whatever, right? So the impulse, okay, that acted on Q must have acted in this direction. And let's take the right as positive. Okay, to, could take the left as positive if I wanted to, but I've taken the right as positive in this case. So what we can say is um, that we want to find the impulse received by Q. Now the impulse received by Q is going to be its change in momentum. Okay, so remember in general, the impulse is equal to the mass times the change in velocity. Okay, the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So here, the mass is km. And the final velocity is the velocity after the collision, which is 2u in the positive direction. Take away, and you've got the initial velocity, which is u in the negative direction. So that's minus u here. So you end up with, that's, 2u plus u, which is 3u times km, so you got 3 kmu, and that's the answer, the magnitude of the impulse received by q, okay, in terms of km and u, so that's fine, that's part A done, okay, that's part A, pretty simple, part B says, find the two possible values of k, alright, so there's two possible things that could happen to k, one, it could be going 2u in the same direction as it was before the collision, so let's look at that. Let's look at that case. So here we can use um, the total momentum before and the total momentum after. Okay, or we can use the fact that we know what the impulse is. We could use that. There's two ways of doing this actually. Okay, I know what the magnitude of the impulse is, and for p, the impulse of course must be acting in this direction. So that we could use that to find what a k is actually. That's probably easier. So using the impulse, we know that the impulse received by P is minus 3K MU because it has to act to the left. I've taken right positive. All right, so let's take um, the change of momentum. So we know that minus 3K MU, sorry, my handwriting, 3K MU is equal to the mass of P, which is 4M, times the change in its um, momentum. So if it was going 3U to the initially, so you got the the final minus the initial. Now, if it's going 2u to the right, it's still positive. So you've got 2u, okay, minus the initial speed, which is 3u. Okay, they're both positive. Okay, so you've got 2u minus 3u, the minus positive 3u, you see, and v minus u. So you end up with minus 3k mu, whoops, mu, sorry, my writing is not good today. Fix that 
is equal to that, you're going to have minus u times 4m, so you're going to have minus 4m u. Now we can get rid of the m u's, and we can say that k is equal to 4 over 3. Okay, that's one possible value of k. And we need to find another possible value of k. Well, that's in the case, second case, where it's moving to u with its direction reversed. So we can say the same thing, minus k, 3k mu. This will, make, of course, I think, make a bigger um, impulse, so a bigger um, value of k, which will cause this to, to happen. So the impulse will be bigger here. The k must be a bigger value, I guess, here for it to change direction. But anyway, minus 3k mu is equal to its mass times its change in velocity. So this time, the velocity before, well, the velocity after is minus 2u. The velocity before is minus 2u because, um, sorry, the, the velocity after is minus 2u because it's changed direction. It's going to the left now. Okay, and you've got minus the velocity before, which is 3u. Okay, so you've got 2u minus 3u. That's minus 5u. So you have minus 3k mu is equal to 4 times minus 5, which is minus 20 mu. We can get rid of the mu's now because on both sides. So we've got k is equal to minus 20 over minus 3, which is 20 over 3. So those are the two possible values of k. That's one possible value and that's another possible value. And there we have answered the question. We could have also answered it by using the change in momentum, in which case I could have said the momentum before is 3u times 4m plus u uh, minus u times km and that's equal to the momentum and I could have taken the case where it's positive here so 4m four, four times 2u plus km times 2u and that would give me one value of k which would be the lower value and then I could have used for the other value of k the 2u to the left so it would have been for the momentum after 4m times minus 2u plus km times 2u and that would have given you the, the, the value the second value you got which is 20 over 3. Okay, so there we have the answer to this question.